Hello, everyone. Sorry I'm late. I realized I left some jeans in a dryer that I needed like after I finished this stream. And um, I'm also doing a wear test or something today. So I um, also forgot that. And I hope I'm off mute because I always leave myself on mute. How is everyone doing? Oh. Hello. Alice, how are you doing? Ruby, how's it going? At least somehow, how was your birth? It was your birthday, right? Or was that someone else? Was that Hor Horace by Veronica? <laughs> there's always there's the two names, Hell and Horrors. I always get mixed up. Her, we're going to be lurking here while rest. Um, oh yeah, it was yours. Okay, Buffy, I should have read your whole comment. <laughs> hey, Sheila, how's it going, Melissa? How is it going? Pudge Muffin, today's my mum's birthday. Happy birthday to your mum. Becca, how are you? It was your birthday. Perfect. Bad witch, how's it going? Oh, guys, I still have that headache, you know, it's really bad. I need, I just need like a massage. In, Indognito, how's it going? God, that took me a while to read your name there. Jay, how are you? Good to see you. Karen, hi, hi, hi. I'm just gonna blot my nose because I'm very shiny. Hi, Robert, I just applied to be on the Sephora squad. Oh, no way! Um, send me a, a link so I can do a, what's it called? What's it called? Oh, the poll is up for our card today. So for those of you who weren't here last week, um, I started a new tradition. When we play Disney Dreamlight Valley, we get to pick a Disney princess affirmation card. Last time it was kind of like, it wasn't, it wasn't really like an affirmation. It was more like a statement. Um, so I've taken out the blue color cause that's what we had last week. So there's yellow, uh, red and blue. <laughs> if you can hear two dogs growling in the background, just playing down here on the carpet. They're just living a cute dog's life. Garbage girl, how are you? Ooh, Darcy, how's it going? I kept thinking it was Wednesday. Yes, say, I know I was upset at three when you weren't on. This week, I don't know what's happened, but all the days seem to ble be bleeding into one. Get this though, right? I think I have a haunted clock or the clock is just a bit slow. <laughs> one or the other. So oh, there's an ad. Okay, I'll tell this terrible story that no one needs to know about. Um, I need to change it, I need to change it. I need to make a note. Um, so this clock, right, in my office, it was always, we just had a time change and it was always late because I never, was it late or was it forward? Clocks went forward, I think, whatever, that summertime. Anyway, it was always out of time, right? So I I never changed it. So I thought, let me, it's nearly, you know, when you get around to doing things, it's nearly the time it's going to change back. Anyway, so I'll just leave it. I was looking at the clock earlier and it was about one something, but on the clock it was showing 2.10 and it had completely, I, I assumed it had run out of battery. And then I come in the room, this room, and I know I start at three o'clock and I was like, oh crap, I need to do something just really quickly before. And now I'm looking at the time and now it's 3.10. So I'm like, did it just not work for an hour or two? Uh, that tea's too hot, it's room temperature. <laughs> Spring forward, fall back, I'll see. Spring forward, autumn back, doesn't really work so much. <laughs> no, that's a really good way to remember it. So what are we going into? Spring forward, there you go. Hello Robert and chat, hey Ollie, how are you? Hi Robert, working from home just to watch you just had six ads, six ads? What the hell? Is this poll ending soon? God, I think I left that poll, oh, it's on its way. It's on its way. Um, I'm trying to think of anything I wanted to tell you all, but I don't think I have anything. So I just thought we'll take it easy in the valley today. We have to still reach level five friendships with free villagers. So that means going around, doing things with them, talking to them, giving them gifts, because they can be easily bought. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing, Bamboo Rush. Um, currently on a team up streak. We. I'm off now, guys. Just wanted to say hi before I went to the bank and other adult responsibilities. Oh no. See you soon, Jay. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much, Nicole, for following. I appreciate you. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna whack these around my neck so I can hear the things come through. Um, where's my volume? Right there. They just introduced the bill to get rid of daylight saving time in the US. Wait, is that real? 
Red just won. Okay, let's read out a red affirmation card. <laughs> just, just uh, don't expect this to set you up for the day. Wait, is that actually real? To be fair, I don't really see the point of it. Is there a point? Thank you so much for subscribing, Loza, Loza San. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's real. God, that's so strange. Yeah, I don't like it. There's, for me, I know people get like winter depression, but there is no worse feeling for me than sitting in your house, looking outside and it's eight o'clock at night and it's still light outside. I hate it. I mean, summer's coming, can't stand it. Okay, thank you so much for following Doomcat. Thank you. Okay, so here's our affirmation. Conversations. Conversations. And it is Cinderella. Cute. Thank you so much for following Naomi. As someone who was treated unkindly by my stepmother and stepsisters, it would have been easy for me to lose hope. <laughs> what does hope mean to you? Wait, I read this one. When when do you feel most hopeful? I swear this is the one I read out. If any of you watch our um Mine and My Brother's joint channel. I swear this is the one I read out. Well, that's fine. I have, right, Bamboo? I swear. Should I do another one? Because that was kind of like a... Sp that was like... That was not fair for everyone who's seen that thing. And I can't be bothered to think about what hope means for you. Okay. Or well, for me, even. I care about what hope means for you. Conversations. And we have Belle again. We had Belle last week. Anyway, the townspeople where I grew up thought I was odd, <laughs> but that didn't stop me from being myself. What are the things that make you, what, what are the things about you that make you unique? Mine would be that I hate summer. <laughs> well, I hope you all feel inspired and you're all going to think about what makes you hope, hope this summer. What was the thing? I forgot what it was already. Thank you, Belle. Thank you, Disney. Okay, let's go. I would put my ears on today, but again, I still have that headache and I can feel it all down my neck. I just need like a good massage, you know? Okay, game. Ooh. Can everyone hear me? Can everyone hear the game? <sighs> Is the game too loud? Am I too loud? Let me know. Who has therapy when you have Robert's Disney affirmations? You'll never need therapy again. You'll never need a discount for better help. That's not unique. That's weird. <laughs> hey, Dink Hammer, how's it going? Oh, not rain. Should we look for the Mickey Cloud? No Mickey Cloud today. I guess it's not. I guess it's not a rain thing. Your levels are good. Thank you so much. I'm currently playing the upgrade. Yes. You know what? I need to get stuff done because I'm just walking around half arsing the game when I want all these upgrades. I want my house to look like the castle. I want everything to happen, you know? Hello, Robert. Hey, Ma Matty, how are you doing? First time chat. Thank you for being here. Sorry, everyone. I love summer and I also love winter. I'm so sorry, everyone. You know what? I do. I do love. I love winter. I'm going to. What am I doing? So, you know, it takes me like a minute to get used to the controls again. That one. Um, winter is just, I don't know. You know what it is about summer? I just have this like, the, the what's it called? What's it called when you're the in, introvert in me hates everyone being around and, <laughs> and like, you know, everyone's outside like, hey, hey everyone, great weather. And it's, I'm just like, oh. Just because it's sunny, it doesn't mean we all need to be nice to each other. No, that's not fair. Well, no, we should all be nice to each other. But you know what's nice? Just a smile. Just a smile. Sweat is the worst thing ever invented. Yes, it is. <laughs> Winter's my favourite because you can cancel... Ah, where's it gone? Oh, I missed it. I'm sorry. I hate summer for that especially. You know what? I wouldn't mind summer if it wasn't sweaty and I you all saw for those of you who aren't in England or any part of the UK you saw us all last summer we were dying global warming is real and it, it made us all sweaty and humid and it wasn't like it isn't nice like oh my god we're in Spain and it's a nice summer time everyone's feeling great it's a, like we're in the swamps of Florida and it's hot and it's sticky and our houses are made out of pure brick you know <laughs> I love winter because it's cold. I hate being hot. I sleep with my window open. Yes, I love it. I love it. If my dogs 
once. So like, oh, thank you so much for following. Zelda Gamer Mum. Thank you. So oh, I love Zelda. You know what I was thinking the other day? I want to find the like original. You remember the um, Super Nintendo? Thank you so much for following. Hey, Denisha. Um, Super Nintendo Zelda. I love, I, I want to find that somewhere where I can play it hopefully on like PC. Or on, I wonder if it's on Switch. Does anyone know? Working retail without air conditioner heat is the worst. I know it. I absolutely know it. Uh, Doomcat, hi Robert. No idea you on Twitch. Yes, I am. I've been watching you and your brother for years and your channel was just recommended to me. So pleased to have found you. How long have you been playing Dizzy Dreamlight Valley? And do you have a music set to streamer friendly? Tell me what that means because no, I probably don't. Um, <laughs> what else is I going to say? I haven't been streaming long. I say that. It's probably been like... Since February, no, since December or November? Or was it October last year? But I've only just started to have like a schedule to it, you know? Do you mean you didn't take up um, open water swimming, Robert, when Robert in the oven that was the Southeast last year? You know, no, I didn't. I, I, st I got two, no, I have three air conditioner units, like the nice ones that um, are big and you just, you know, stick the pipe out the window. And I sat, I sat inside and I was like, I'm so happy I'm cold. I have one in my uh, bedroom, one in my uh, living room and one in my kitchen, but my, it doesn't really work in my kitchen because it's quite big. But I was thinking, how am I going to sit in here in the summer and stream with the noise of the air conditioning thing, you know? Going to settings and change your music and sounds to the streaming friendly one. It means your VOD won't be muted due to copyright uh, Dizzy Music. You know what? I'm going to do that right now. Thank you for that. I didn't know that was a thing. Settings. Um, settings what? Sounds. Streamer friendly mode. I didn't know that was a thing. Replaces copyright music. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Done. Thank you so much. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, look, hey, <laughs> my thoughts too. We can't take our skin off because I'm sure I would. Yeah. I would peel it right off. But you know what? It is easier when you have like a good air conditioner unit, not like an air conditioner like the Americans have. Oh, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. That's gonna be annoying. I wonder why. Okay, anyway, that's that's, that's fair. <laughs> um, but I tell you what, it does make a difference. I could sleep easy. Um, I could eat. <laughs> I would have eaten anyway. <laughs> oh, sorry about that everyone. There might be someone out there. I think they've seen that squirrel that runs across. Um, I saw a huge spider on the door to get into work. I just... Oh, that's my door. Sorry, bear me with just one second. Okay, we're back. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm waiting for a package and I had to I had to run to get that. They were just they were guarding the house, bless them. Okay, let's try and Oh, you know what? I shouldn't be doing all this like foraging when I should be doing it with a person. So collection characters. Who is like my gardening, gardening? Thank you so much for subscribing, Jessica. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. For two months. Thank you. Fishing, foraging, Mickey. Okay, cool. Mickey, my friend. Boy, I'm glad to see you. Uh, uh, let's hang out. Ooh. What level are we at with him, actually? Was it free? I think we haven't got long to go. So, Mickey, you just you forage with me. That's not foraging, is it? It's like bushes and stuff. Hello. Uh, hi, did you come up with... How, how how did you come up with your dog names? Well, I have Winnie, which is my... They're both miniature schnauzers. So Winnie is the oldest. And we wanted to give her a Disney name. For those of you who don't know, me and my fiancé met when we were both working in Florida for Disney World. So Disney, not Disney by itself, but Disney is a huge, huge part of 
our lives. It's, it's how we met. It's how, um, and I don't mean like, you know, crying at the castle and that kind of stuff, even though I wouldn't put it past me to be fair. Um, but it's a huge part of our life. So we was like, let's call our dog something Disney, but not cheesy. We didn't want to be like, come here, Cinderella, you know, or anything like that. So we were thinking of names and we did actually, originally she was going to be named after, um, a character from Gem and the Holograms. She was going to be called Kimba, but then we changed it because my friend Ashton, ooh, level five, we did it. What did we get? Oh, that's cute. I'm going to put that in our... You know what? We haven't even sorted out our house. So my friend Ashton, who you all might know, when one day we were working together and she said we were going through like Disney names. I was like, what can we call it? Something obscure. Maybe there's a dog in Disney or something like that. And then she was like, what about Winifred after the Hocus Pocus... The Hocus Pocus? After um, Hocus Pocus, Winnie. And we're like, oh yeah, Winnie's cute. L little Winnie. So we called her Winnie. And when she's in trouble, she gets called Winifred. Um, and Frankie was just cute. He was originally called Stanley. Um, oh, oh my God, there's a raid happening. I didn't realize. Hi everyone, sorry, I'm just talking, talking, talking. I didn't see who it was. The official trope Disney is such a um, chill vibe after Resident Evil. Oh, <laughs> oh, was it the new Resident Evil? Not the new one, but remastered? Yes. Thank you so much. I Sorry, I was just looking at my screen and babbling. I didn't hear, I didn't see who raided. I'm so sorry. Welcome in. We're just taking it easy. We're trying to get, as it says, up in that corner. Um, five level five with with friends. Level five with friends. <laughs> Three friends at level five. That's what it was. On brand, we love it absolutely. <laughs> oh my god, the Pudge Muffin! Thank you so much. That's gifted ten subs. Are you kidding? Are you for real? Thank you so, so much. Robert, you need to do raise at the end of your stream. Yes, I do. But you know what? It's because of my time difference. Nobody that I know or, or follow is ever streaming. So I need to definitely start following some people from being on social media, on all the other platforms. I must go to bed. Have a good night. Don't have any bad dreams of that Resident Evil in your brain as well. <laughs> You'll be dreaming about walking through some village with just some crazy people coming at you with pickaxes. It's the end of my stream time. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Have a beautiful evening. Do you have any SO commands so we can help you do them in the comments? Um, Lisa, I don't know what that means. I'm still, rem remember I'm new. <laughs> Enjoy Disney, thank you so, so much. Have a beautiful night. Um, yeah, I was saying, I am, um... oh, shout out commands, is that what you meant? I'll have to look into that. I missed 10 minutes, I was on the phone, don't you worry, we're just, we're just hanging out, taking it easy. I need to, oh, Goofy's thing's fishing, isn't it? I'm gonna have to try and fish now. And I can't fish. Juki, how are you? Thanks for coming in. I could use some help. Um, no, let's let's hang out. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, uh, yeah, I need to sort out commands. I don't know what I'm doing with all that kind of stuff. But yes, I need to follow more people streaming. I was saying from all my other social media platforms, there's you know, oh Minnie's ghost in the background, terrifying. Uh hey Robert, I hope you're feeling better. Thank you, Sinker. I kinda of still have that bit of that headache thing. Um, but it, it's coming and going. Robert, if you want to shout out the raiding streamer, you can use this command. Force slash shout out. Oh, I just lost it. I'll have to look into it. I need to get my crap together when it comes to this this platform because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um. Oh, yeah. Can I just say how beautiful Ashen is? She looks incredible both ways. Thank you so much. Freya, thank you so much for following. Do you use Streamlabs or Stream Elements? I can send, I use OBS. Oh, this one, there was a huge spider on my work. Yeah, we said that, right? Wait, are you another person who had a, a huge spider on there? On the door. <laughs> Fuck, I can't, I can't, 
I can't fish. I hate it so much. I hate it so, so much. Melissa, I'm having one of those days where nothing goes right. Listen, we all have those days. They have to happen. Otherwise, the other days won't be so good, right? Shelly, hi, how are you? Thank you so much for following, Shelly. That's the worst tea I've ever made. Just spreading love late. I'm going to show my mum where she got um, birthday wishes. She has no idea who you are, but she thinks thinks you nonetheless. Oh, amazing. Oh, cute. I'm not going to lie, though. I was dying when she told a story of you guys having a falling out over window seat. Yeah, that was a proper... We, pro we really argued. We really, really argued. Okay, okay, okay. Wait for it to go green. Wait for it to go green. I did it. I did it, everyone. Drop all of these. Got a fish. <laughs> you can do as we believe in you. Thank you so much. <laughs> now I need to sell some of my stuff to, to Goofy because I have no room. I need to get that little farm going as well. You One thing that I just realized is that, remember I made that little farm area up by my house and up by Mickey's house, all the little holes are gone. I wish they kind of hung around and then you could like get rid of them as you pleased. I'm gonna keep that like this. What is this? Like yeast, wheat. <laughs> Cause it always comes in handy. Why did I just do that? 40, we don't need 40 of those. Um, could do with that. My gosh, there's so much. And by the time I play it again next week, it will just be growing back again anyway. We have a pug called Lily and she's currently barking at her reflection in a fish tank. Ooh, whoever makes your emojis needs to make one in a little fishing outfit. That would be cute. So we spoke about my dog's names and where I got them from. Because they one of them was Disney related. The other one was just sounded cute. Where is everyone? Or how did you name your pet? Who is it named after? If anything. Or what is it named after? I always find it really interesting. Ah! <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. I still need to do that slap emo. Oh! <laughs> There's a slap coming for Wolfgang in The Sims. Severus Cat. <laughs> I get a whole attitude of that name. I feel like I understand his attitude. My relationship with Goofy is going up, right? Because this is a waste of my time, if not. I have a little corgi who looks like Evie. So we named her after the Pokemon. That's so cute. We have a rabbit named after... Oh, no, I'm doing the thing where I read too many things. Named after a snowman. The tweenies called Cold Wilson. <laughs> That's really cute. We have Storm, Rain and Breeze. All weather related. If we thought two... If we thought two boy dogs could get along, we'd have a Thunder too. Cute. Luna is for Moon and Stella is for Star. So my Winnie, she was where we got her from. We got her from this family who, oh my God, I'm so awful at this. This family who they didn't want their dog to get pregnant. So they put her in like, you know, those like nappies for dogs while she was at like a daycare or something like that. A dog ate through them and got her pregnant. So they, they originally named her um, Luna. This place really shows it. And then we were like, oh, we'll keep it, we'll way. keep it. But then we was like, oh no, we kind of want to make it a bit more personal to us, you know? Momo from Avatar, The Last Airbender, Ellie from The Last of Us, and Seymour from Little Shop of Horrors. That's what I saw in New York. It was incredible. My male cat is named Chip after Chocolate Chip, his black cat. My female cat, Mina, is named after Mina from Dracula. It was between Mina and Ellie from Broadchurch. <laughs> I called her by both names, and she ran to me when I called her Mina. Cute. My dog Maggie was named after Red Hot Chili Peppers song, Rain Dance Maggie. Honestly, that mini ghost ter is terrifying. Tails, his ginger cat from Sonic. Cute. Oh yeah, of course. I have an Aussie Shepherd named Boba, as in Boba T, since it's dark and round. Cute. So many pets. My cat Marcel for Marcel Proust. What's Marcel Proust? I can't tell you how nervous fishing makes me. How how am I playing this child-friendly Disney game but getting so sweaty? I'm sweating from, from trying to fish too hard. <laughs> my, my cat is, oh, I read it already. My cat is 
Gimov? Gimov? That's a cute name. I don't know how to say it. My dog is called Coulson after Agent Phil Coulson from Marvel because it's a rescue. Oh, I got a new chance of life. That's so cute. Five adverts. Okay, I'll just be fishing. It's marshmallow in French. Oh, cute. Actually, we'll save that thing for. Let's get to level five of Goofy. How many? One more person. Ugh. Winnie, Frankie. Something. So, you know when you just feel like your dogs are being suspicious? <laughs> I'm getting that. Something suspicious is happening. Oh, fuck. Bear with me just one second. I'm so sorry. Where my baby angel screen? There it is. I'm back. I'm back. It was nothing. I have this, like, fear now ever since, um, in, right, so in the morning when I feed my dogs breakfast, I, um, it ha it's like this little packet that you just cut open and you give them, like, you know, wh however much I need. And one morning I thought, let me just, I just left it on the side, out of reach, like, I can't fish. My dog, whoops, my dogs aren't even, my dogs aren't tall, you know, they're medium, they're medium size. And... I went to the toilet and I was like, while they're eating breakfast, let me just run to the toilet really quickly. I come back and Winnie, who's my older one, she's a little bit more well-behaved. I come back and she's just staring at me. And that's usually the sign of like, she's she's a telltale, like she tells on her brother. And um, I was like, okay, something's not right. And then I hear this like shuffling along the floor and I go around the corner of the island in my um, kitchen and Frankie has eaten the rest of their food for the whole day. So he's, so he ate two, four, 600 grams of food in that morning. And he's meant to have 400 a day. But you know what? He, he wasn't sick. He wasn't ill. He didn't have like the squits, nothing. One of my old roommates used to call my cat Flat Janet. <laughs> Sorry, Fat Janet. Because, oh, Fat Janet. Because she's so fat. Oh, I just said Flat Janet. <laughs> That's cute. I love it when animals have, like, um, human names, you know? Oh, I'm going to have to put on some deodorant after I finish this because I am sweating. What day is it today? Wednesday. What's everyone doing this evening? Anything fun? It's my fiance's mum's birthday, so we are going out for dinner. I'm actually really excited. It is, it's Italian. So I'm gonna have anything with just cheese. Oh, they're cool. Oh, you know what? Let's go to, let's go and see Screw Shop. I just wanna see if there's anything new. <laughs> this is one of the great things about this game is that like, it's almost like buying Disney merch because of all the clothes and the thing. My cat is named Oh no, Pichonette, but my friend calls her Jackson for some reason because he was convinced her name was Jackson and now, <laughs> oh, that's really cute. I'm actually gonna eat well, well, wellish. I'm going to have a cute little pub with some friends for trivia, cute. Welsh, no joke. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize, I think it was saying Remember, something completely different. Oh my God, everything is so cute. Jeez. How much money have I got? 16? Disney monies. Okay, I have a lot of bags. Oh, look at this. Oh, crap. Oh. Okay, I think sweet chili salmon. I love salmon. I don't get to eat fish enough. Oh, look at this lamp. It's like the tangled um, geysers. <laughs> Has. Picking out what to make dinner while I'm doing laundry all day. What a horrible, laundry is just like a thing that takes forever and ever to do. Oh my God, that is so cute. Oh, do I buy it? What's on this? What's on this? Mm, no, I don't like that. I, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna come in here and not leave. These trousers are cute. I don't have trousers like this. All mine are like skinny jeans. Let's get some. Hello. And I don't want people to know I'm millennial, so I don't want skinny jeans. Mother Gothel is my favorite, not gonna lie. She's a bit, she's a bit of an arse. 
Thank she has you, a good character, you. though. She has a good character. I'm just working. Has to be done, Melissa. Has to be done. Okay, come on, Goofy. Let's fish. Let's get you to level five. Because I don't really like hanging around with you much. <laughs> I hate fishing. I taught my 13-year-old and 18-year-old how to do their laundry last year. And now they're responsible for their own. Good for you. I would have a tension tantrum at 13, having to do my own laundry. How do you have your tea? Horrendously disgusting. So I have Earl Grey. And depending on the date, when I have a headache, I don't really have sugar. I have headaches a lot because I have a lot of, like, tension from here. It sounds really stupid, but from all my years doing, like, as a makeup artist and all the arms up in positions I had to be in, working around models, like, sitting on the floor or whatever, I, it's really kind of, like, damaged my neck and my shoulders. Um, so I get headaches a lot, so I don't have sugar a lot. But, um, I'll have, like, one sugar or, like, a sweetener or something. But usually I just have Earl Grey with loads of milk because I can't have hot drinks because I have a, I have a really sensitive palate. <laughs> Builder's Brew is the only way to go. What's Builder's Brew? Sending good vibes away. I have to do research for an art history. For art history, I'm not passionate about. Oh no, I'm gonna work with you. We'll be here, we'll be here. You got a good few, a good few, yeah. I love Milky Tea, me too. Me too. Oh yeah, no, I'm meant to be fishing with him, aren't I? And you know what, this thing, Earl Grey reminds me, oh. When it's like really milky, it kind of, it, re it reminds me of getting like, um, what's it called? Oh my God, what's it called? I can't remember now. Oh my God, to build brew, it's like six sugars. Oh, okay. I have my TV exact same way and get only unbelievable amount of shit for it. Me too. Builders brew is black and plain, I believe. Couldn't, I? I just bought this game downloaded on my Switch. Oh, I'm so, oh, it is so cute. It's, oh, look at, look, what's happening over here? Look at that. Look at that happening. Well, Whatever's going on. My mum... Right? Yeah. I love getting the... Going to the cream store near me and getting an iced milk tea. That's what it tastes like. Thank you. It tastes like milk tea to me. It's it's not, and it's not the same, but it tastes like milk tea to me. Oh, my God, I just had an idea for Discord. Could we have a channel for music? Or a music channel people can go to to hang out and work with other people? That's a cute idea. How would we do that? <laughs> Thank you so much for following Dummy Links. <laughs> So I got um, Discord and Twitch around the same time and I'm uh, both as incompetent with them as each other. I'm very lucky that, do you all know Rachel, streamologist? Or recommendations by Rachel, her name is now. She's helped me with absolutely everything. And I still, do, like I've had like FaceTimes with her, being like, why isn't this working? She's, she's helped me out so much. So I'm really lucky that she's helped me that way because I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Can someone link for Discord? Yes. Um, ooh, I don't know how to do that. Like a uh, voice channel, but are muted with bot for music. That's so cute. That's a really cute idea. Yes. Thank you so much for subscribing. Squeebles. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Are we playing a new update today? No. For some reason, um, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. And I'm quite like, like early starting in this game. Still, look, like I haven't even got this beach area open yet. But in my in my other game, I wonder if sometimes I should just jump on my older game because I'm pretty much caught up with it over there. Oh yeah, sorry, Goofy, sorry, I'm meant to be um, fishing. I know there's like voice things in Discord, but I still I still don't know how to use it. And I would love it because part of my Discord server, there's an area where you can ask me like makeup questions, but I, I wish I could answer them with my voice because I'm so, I'm dyslexic. So typing out the answers and trying to explain myself, I'm, I'm really, I'm not so great at it, you know? Why do I keep coming up here? How close are we to being at level whatever it is with Goofy? Would it tell me? Oh, almost there, almost there, okay. It doesn't let me put links, ah, oh, crap. You know what, if if anyone's following me on um, 
Instagram. I'll put it on my stories after this. Um, put, actually, it's it's in on any of my socials. There's a link tree, and it's in there. And my Instagram is on the like. I'll we'll have a little break. Thank you so much for following, Jess. <gasps> is that it? Yay! Level five, and we get this fireplace. That's cute. I like that. That's cute. Oh, I want level eight though. Look at that cabinet. Level ten. That hat's cute. Thanks, Goofy. Okay, who can we get up next? What's Merlin's deal? Gardening. Okay, Merlin. Where's little skinny legs? Where is he? Little skinny legs. Merlin. Oh, he's up by the thing. Okay. Um, thank you for loving up. Thank you. What's your favorite villager in Dreamlight Valley? Um, Show. You know what? So I don't have her in this game, but on my other game, I have Ursula, and I love. She's just she's just an asshole, <laughs> and I really like her for it. <laughs> I think she's great. I'm gonna have to download this game. I think it looks relaxing to play. Yeah, it's cute. It's really nice. It's very much. Uh, what's it called? What's that game everyone's playing during lockdown? Um, Animal Crossing, but with cute little Disney bits to it, and there's like little side quests and everything like that. It's really, really nice. Hi there. I'm gonna have to down. Uh, I read it already. I'll, I'll add my suggestion to Discord text channel and let Rachel. I think her name is. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Whoops. Sell, please, Goofy. Hi, my baby. What are you doing? Just being being a dog. Um, I think Scar's my favorite villager. He's so cute and sassy. Scar oh, is a one. I appreciate him. The the what? older I get, the more I appreciate Scar. What are we doing? Okay, gardening with M Mel. <laughs> Um, wait, what's, um, gardening, is this, is this gardening? No, I guess it's more like gardening. <laughs> okay, let's plant some, um, seeds. Let's buy some carrot seeds. Oh, for the Switch gamers, Disney Dreamlight Valley has improved significantly, significantly on Switch. So everyone can join the PC gamers in this cuteness. Oh, amazing. The cat's scaring me. They are staring at the corner of the wall and ignoring me. Uh-oh, you know what that means, right? You know what that means. Hooray! Something's in the corner of that room that you can't see. <laughs> I shared my bear in the artistry channel. Your bear? What's your bear? As in you've drawn a bear? You or you later. made one? <laughs> Come Merlin, we're going to do some like Merlin things over here. Actually, you know what? No, let's go up by the house. Oh, I feel bad for making him run. Take it easy. You're hundreds of years old. I'm digitally painting a bear. Oh, cute. Okay, cool. Right, here's a nice little garden area. It's right near me. You know what? One day as well, I kind of want to take time to... I was watching somebody talk about the updates on YouTube. And her area just looks so nice. It's so cute. So I just want to kind of like have a little play around. The only thing is doing like all the pathway and stuff is kind of difficult on this game. Not difficult, but a little bit time consuming. Not that I'm like, you know, spending time playing this, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, I leveled up eight. Yes. Max energy. Oh, look at those boots. No noise. I'm convinced that animals can see ghosts. Yeah, I refuse to accept any other explanation for when they stare at nothing. 100% agreed. You know, I was I was like, I genuinely thought until recently that um, that animal, that dogs could see smell. I thought it was a real thing. I learned that from Rugrats. And it's a lie. Would you, would you, would you believe? <laughs> This music's so cute. Are we not gonna get that like when you when you wish upon a star music anymore though? That's my favorite part. My cat does that because she doesn't have brain cells. <laughs> Aww. 
So we were doing some training with my dogs yesterday and we're, we're trying this new command where we just get them to like touch our hand with their nose and then they get like a little something. And my older dog, Winnie, she is so, she's so intelligent to a point where she, she, she acts a certain way to get a reward, if that makes sense. So we were trying to stop her barking at the TV when a dog came on. So we would like, we were told by a trainer that when um, she barks at the TV, and I actually think this is a terrible idea, but we tried it because a professional trainer told us to. We have these like little bits of sausage, like these dog sausages that she would eat. And when a dog Pretty comes, good, eh? what level? Four, one more level. Okay, cool. Um, what did we get? 500 coins. We need that for the shop. Um, so, so when, um, when he would bark, we would throw these bits of sausage on, on the floor. I just realized I don't need to do that. Um, to like, I don't, I don't, can't remember what the reasoning was. Anyway, it didn't work because Winnie, as smart as she is, would bark at the TV at anything and then look at us to be like, I barked, now I get something or now, you know, and, um, but it got to a point, you know, if anyone has like Sky TV and you go to the menu and the TV is up in that tiny, why did I do that? The menu is up in that tiny corner. She would watch that tiny corner really precisely for anything and then start barking at it. She she plays us. She knows how to play us. Since you like Disney movies a lot, what's your favorite Disney Channel movie? High School Musical, Sky High, etc. Oh my God, what was the one I watched um, and really liked it? Was the one with Selena Gomez and Demi Lovato, a Disney original, when they like swapped places in that song, one and the same, was from it? Love that film. Princess, um, Princess Protection Program, was that what it's called? Yeah, that's rewarding behavior, smart dog. Yeah, exactly. Honestly, we had a trainer once who told us that Winnie was like severely, um, actually no, let's go and get some more seeds. Severely, like she had really bad, um, What's it called that humans get? Um, bye, Melissa. Um, oh my God, why is my mind gone completely blank? What's it called? Ah, oh, you, um, Baby. begins with A. Begins with A? Anxious. She has extreme anxiety, right? So she got, she was like recommending these like natural, um, very natural like anxiety, anti-anxiety like medication. So, I was like, I really did not want to put her in anything, but taking her for a walk really was so stressful for her. All... Yeah, thanks, Mirabel. I didn't want her to be like anxious, of course. So we put her in this natural, and I, I looked into it, and it was all fine. Spoke to vets, and it was fine. And then we had another trainer, and she was like, "Your dog isn't anxious at all." So I was like, "We've had, you know, thinking that our poor dog has severe anxiety, and she hasn't at all." It's been, it, and it was like, it was just such a, I don't know. I, we need to find a trainer that we really, really like um, and trust their words, you know, because there are so many opinions, so many different opinions. I really thought like dog trainers would be pretty much behavior is behavior, but I guess not, you know. My cat's very jumpy and that she jumps very high. She stares at the walls and seeming to find ways to jump up to the ceiling. <laughs> Cute. That's exactly what happened because it was reinforced that she'd get rewarded for barking at the TV. Bad advice from a trainer. You know what? I thought it was bad advice. I was like, surely it's like rewarding her. But um, I was like, try it anyway. You never know. Let me just one second. Um, 
is it right to ignore the dog when they bark at nothing? You know what? It's to me, in my experience, it's been more effective than being like, oh, it's okay, be quiet. You know, I just don't, it, we, what we've been trying recently works so much better. Um, yeah. Especially with Winnie, because she's so clever. She will just, she will just bark at anything. And she, yeah, she's just, she's just too smart for her own good. <laughs> Does she still bark out with dogs on the TV though? Yes, <laughs> she does. But you know what? We haven't really acted on that because, I mean, we don't really watch much TV, to be honest with you. We mainly do like streaming stuff. Um, yeah. So we need to get that sorted. <laughs> but I mean, it's not like hindering our lives so much, you know? Yeah, I can't open a blue chest, Squeebles, because I'm, for some reason, I'm not connected to the internet, even though I'm streaming right now. Like, it, I hate these memory things. Um, yeah, it doesn't make sense. Thank you so much for following Merry Unicorns. That's a cute name. Thank you for following. I appreciate it. We don't do much when the dogs bark at nothing, really. We just assume they are hearing distant sirens that animals can't. Yeah. Ooh, another thing. Hydration. Ruby, Ruby, I keep saying Ruby, but that's not what it says, Raibu. <laughs> Our pug hates the bank advert with a black horse. She hates horses and goes mental out of the TV because of, yes, the Lloyds Bank one. My dog does the same. And she also hates on channel four here in the UK, they're like interval things where it's like, coming up next on channel four, there's this big metal like four walking and making this weird noise. She hates it. As soon as she hears her music and she she knows her music, she is like, she is like beside herself. She really, really hates that thing. <laughs> Guys, it's not a veterinarian. I could be. I could be. <laughs> That's right. No one's asking for like crazy advice or anything. We're just sharing experiences. Hey, Kay, how are you doing? Are my carrots ready? I feel like that's something that'll be really quick. No, I guess not. When my dog barks, I just ignore her, but my parents always yell no. Yeah, dog always comes to me to see me and sits by me when she barks like that. I'm the only one that can actually make her stop barking. Cute. Oh, yes, that one. Yeah, our dog despises Channel 4 as well. <laughs> I, I was almost a veterinarian until I changed my manger. Oh, cute. You could desensitize her by having that sound play all day and give her treats and attention. You know what, Becca? We actually thought about just going onto YouTube and playing like a dog, a video of a dog and just sitting there <laughs> and like, you know, rewarding her when she's quiet or whatever. Have you played the new update? No, I haven't yet. Tell me, the new update, that's going to require me to have like, wait, is the new update in the castle? Like, is there new like doors? I'm running there anyway to see... <laughs> Am I, oh, there's something over here, isn't there? Isn't there a chest over here? Yay. Yeah, Merlin's got all his books out. <laughs> Getting nice and moist. Oh no, we need, to, we need to drop something. Oh, let's eat something. Let's eat, let's eat two carrots. Why not? Uh, you might be able to play the new content, but uh, the star path may be missing because of your connection. Uh, right, what's the star path? <laughs> Is this close? Let's see what we got. Oh. <laughs> God, they're the ugliest shoes I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> Not the moist books, man. <laughs> the update didn't apply as normal on my Switch. Oh, no. Let's actually have a little look in here. Oh, there's another chest. Look, I'm so, like, still early in this game that I haven't opened everything. I'm just getting a load of clothes. This is great. Maybe I didn't need to buy that, um, those trousers earlier. White House of Dreams t-shirt. Cute. That's what, you can add Simba and Nala to your village. Cute. Look, look at all these doors. I hope they all open up. Who have we got here? There you go. The Lion King, Frozen, Toy Story. We haven't done any of those yet. 
No one's open yet. No one's open. At least I have nothing on them. This is cute. Oh, how beautiful is this castle? Nice. Great time. <laughs> And of a bunny and found my reading your uh you and your fridge. <laughs> That's cute. And of a bunny, thank you so much. Bunny mum, how are you doing? Right, quick right, someone tell me how to do a shout out quick. How are you doing? Elle of a bunny mum, I don't know how to do the shout out thing. I wish I sorted this before today. I had two rays today. Thank you so much for following. Su Sumiko, thank you. Thank you so much for raiding. I appreciate it. How was your stream? My bunny mom loves you. Cute. All right. It's... <laughs> Wait, I need to get over this. I never know how to do this. Right, I'm practicing. Shout out and then... Thank you for following Heroes of New. I appreciate it. Thank you. So I'm just trying to do this, this shout out because I never know how to do it. Does that work? Does that work? Wait, did it go? Why is it not going? I think I did it. Did I do it? <laughs> I think I did it. <laughs> that took me forever. Amazing. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much. You see it? You see it? Amazing. Oh, I see it. Okay, cool. Everyone, if you haven't been here before, I'm new to Twitch. I'm, I'm like, when it comes to technology, I'm like your mum looking at a phone. No, what? Your grandma looking at a phone. <laughs> what are we doing again? Gardening. Right, we're gardening with Merlin. We're trying to reach friendship level five with three villagers. We've done two. So we're getting there. I just feel bad because Merlin's little skinny legs. I don't want him running around everywhere. <laughs> Thank you so proud of my faith YouTube beauty guru. Thank you so much. You're so cute. I appreciate it. Thank you. Beautuber. <laughs> How's your little baby bunny? Your cute little baby angel. You know what? I've been addicted to watching um, videos of rabbits on Instagram. I'm the kind of person who watches TikToks and Instagram like a year later, but you know that angle from under the rabbit's mouth and it just films a rabbit eating? Cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. It is so, so adorable. And they get like little green stains from their food. It's so cute. That's the side of, oh, no, I don't wanna do this. Yeah, exactly. Here's a brat as usual. <laughs> Puppy cat hurdles around me while I was sing. Puppy cat. We were just talking earlier about how we got our pets' names as well. So Puppy cat, I'm guessing is from, is it Brie and Puppy cat? Is it Brie? Their little twitching noses, exactly. And their little tongues. They're so cute. They are so cute. Okay, I think I'll have to hop off and go to bed now. Have a fun and good one. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for Pudge Muffin. Thank you for being here. Good to see you again. Have a beautiful sleep. <laughs> Be in puppy cat, that's it. Why do I think it was Brie? Listen, talking about sleep, let me do some really boring talk with you just quick. No, it's kind of interesting, right? So you know, any, no, actually the rescue named him because he acts like a puppy and a cat. That's so cute. Have a great night. Well, being cup puppy cat is also really cute. <laughs> right, so I don't know if a lot any of you know, but why would you know? But in the UK, Robert, what types of font do you like? Anything but Comic Sans. <laughs> font, you said, right? And I can't read cursive with my physically with my dyslexia. It's really difficult. Um, so we can't ha get melatonin in the UK, right? You know, that stuff that helps you sleep. So when I was in Florida in October, I, I grabbed some. And when I was in New York recently in March, I also grabbed some, but I had like different types. So I took this melatonin the other night and I've never had such a weird night's sleep in my life. So I took this other one that was like, you know, those people that do like night nurse and whatever. They, um, they make one and it was really good. It's like sugar coated, you know, that kind of like chewy, chewable thing. And I would have two of those, great night's sleep. Your legs are really comfortable in bed. You know, it's that kind of sleep. Jesus Christ, well, why did that make such a 
loud noise. Um, and then, thank you so much for following. Little works by Lexi. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, then I took these other ones. And I took two, but it was like a higher dosage. I didn't realize. I have a weirdest night. I was having all these nightmares and these really vivid dreams. Heroes of new. Hey. <laughs> it says first time chatter, but you've chatted already. Or did you follow? I can't remember. I recognize your name. I remember your name. Thank you so much for following me. Once upon a dream. Thank you so much. Cute name. Thank you. So, oh my God, I cannot take melatonin because I have super vivid dreams and it makes them even more insane. Yes. So I I took two and the dosage was like, it was ridiculously high. I think you're only meant to take one of these ones. I was having these weird dreams and I kept waking up and like being like this. And then I, it, it, so I get really easily scared at night, but I like being scared, but not this scared, kind of scared. I had this super, and everybody mom has gifted a sub. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Dina D, thank you. Thank you, Edda, for, for um, doing that. Gifting the sub. Um, and I had this really vivid dream, but also like felt like a true life experience of my fiance, me laying in bed, jabbing at me, just really going at my shoulder like this. Obviously it wasn't happening because that would be really, that would be really strange, but it was so real. I was like, I can't sleep again because I'm so scared. If I sleep, I don't know what's going to happen in my mind. And we've got in UK, Robert, we have something called Fernigans, which is like a liquid which is like liquid cowpaw and it puts you to sleep and it's really good. Oh, I've never heard of it. Lisa Marie, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. Thank you. Ghost mini. Terrifying. Whew. I do not, I do not like that ghost mini. Oh, what am I doing? That's gardening. Okay. Good. It's, re it's really making a really vicious sound. But yeah, that was my melatonin story. <laughs> So that's the warning. Oh, you can buy it in boots. Oh, cool. Does it taste like cherry? Is it like, like cherry cowpaw taste? Carrots are ready, everyone. This should get us to level five with Merlin. Surely. We buy it for long car journeys and stuff. Like when you're in the like passenger seat, right? <laughs> I mean, sub not sure why that popped up. Lisa, that keeps happening and I don't know why. Yes. Oh my God, we did it. Oh, okay. Level five. What do we get? Oh, that's not very fun. Like some kind of chemistry set. Yeah, it keeps doing that, Lisa. It happened to somebody the other day. But you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to keep saying thank you. Because you know what? Even still thank you when I... Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Even still thank you when it's not a new subscription. Thanks, Merlin. You you skinny leg legend. Buttercup syrup is a way forward. Knock me out flat. Oh, no way. Okay, let's talk to Merlin. We're done with this quest. I'm over it. You've accomplished a great, uh, a great feat, nurturing your friendships. <laughs> Robert, a village will be all the better for it. Well, come on, come on, no time to dilly-dally. We must go back to the pillar, recover the orb, and lift the curse on the meadow. Let's do it, Merlin. Let's get cracking. And you like, listen to Robert's voice. Ah, oh, thank you. I'll try and be more ASMR when I do it. <laughs> Skinny leg legend, he is. He really is. Wait, where am I going? Over here. I really wish Wally's help. <gasps> Something's happening. Is that it? <laughs> oh, right. Where's the orb? Let me get this. Harvest that while I'm doing it. Why not? Oh, there it is. Let's go. This opens a beach, right? Yes. What does minging mean from Kanda? When something's minging, it's disgusting. Like, so you, you, you're at a restaurant, right? And they give you fish and you eat it and you realize it's slightly off. You'd be like, oh my God, this is minging. Or like you, you know, you open a lip gloss and it smells like Play-Doh because it's gone like severely out of date. You'd be like, oh my God, this is minging. <laughs> right, are you enjoying doing your ghost stories as a podcast now instead of the makeup videos? Yes, let me tell you why. It doesn't take me as long to film it, so I can... Thank you so much for following Opal. Thank you, RSR Opal. Um, it doesn't take me as long to film, which means I can guarantee one a week. Whereas before, it took a back back seat because it didn't. it wasn't my most popular content. So now I can guarantee doing one. You know what I mean? 
Melissa, opening a lip gloss and it tastes like barbecue sauce. Every time I think of those Applebee's lip glosses, I want to throw up. I want to throw up. We need all the non-UK people to ask what our slag, what our slag means. Oh, slang. And then Robert has to explain them. Slag is also UK slang, so... <laughs> I'm glad you found a way to steal what you um, enjoy and have it not be overly stressful. Exactly. Thank you so much. That Yeah, that's why I wanted to do it. Sol Sol Sunflower. I love that name. I use that word so much, I thought other countries use it too. I, no, I guess they don't. I've heard you on Facebook for your makeup videos ages and didn't even realize you stream on here, especially Disney Dream Light Valley. Thank you so much. Oh, yes, I do. And if you ever want to watch the full videos of what you see on Facebook, they're all over on my YouTube as well. What's happening, oh, Merlin? Hello. Stupendous, you succeeded. The well is free off the curse. I wish I was an actor so I could do the voices. You know, the old ruler used to use the wells to travel by magic around the village from well to well. I mean, I would prefer to wander, but I don't want to be rude. Oh. Then you'll no doubt find the wells around the village useful, but don't forget to take the time to wander now and then. I will. You never know what mysteries you might uncover. Speaking of wandering, replacing the orb of friendship, remove the dark magic. Uh, the dark magic from a giant night forms blocking the way to the rest of the valley. If you gather enough dream light, you can get rid of all the giant night forms and fawns and explore further. And in time, we should be able to discover what happened to the others who stayed behind. I seem to remember that when a valley fell to chaos, the sea witch, there she is, stayed by the beach. Did you say sea witch? Sounds like my kind of lady. Oh no, because that, I'm going to say it anyway. Well, she can be a bit tricky, but on occasion she proves to be off use. So that's that's kind of mean. Hey, Stacy, how's it going? The sea witch may hold many of your answers we seek. I suggest you start by exploring the beaches to the south. I will. I have always what considered a dirty trucker mouth in the US, but when I went to England and said the C word, no one even noticed and I felt at home. It's it's a very much used word in the UK. The horrors by Veronica, how's it going? Good to see you. Thanks for making it. Sheila, they don't use it here in the US, but have consumed way too much UK content all my life. We we're right next to Canada and get all their programming. Oh yeah, of course. Slag in a Green Day song I played, I think it means bad mouth. No, slag is an insult in the UK, so it's not very, it's not very feminist friendly, to be honest with you. Slag is basically a slut. It's not, it's not very, it's not a nice word. Oh, hello. <laughs> but people use it as an insult to anyone, really. Or it can be, it can be in funny conversation, like if your friend is like, Oh, you know, I, I slept with this guy last night. You'd be like, oh my God, you're such a slag, you know? <laughs> I love learning about slang. <laughs> There's a whole biome in the valley you haven't seen, you know. It's called Dazzle Beach. To get there, I'm afraid you'll have to remove his night forms and clear a path. Let's do it. Let's go to Dazzle Beach. Congratulations, Robert. You can now visit the beach. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I have to go. Thanks, for, thanks Robert. Have fun, everyone. Uh, stay to he describes slag. <laughs> See you soon, Dinkama. Oh, purple legs. What was that? What was that all about? Ursa's cave. Yes. Isn't slagging someone off an expression? Yeah, so slagging someone off is, is uh, talking about them behind their back, bitching about them. So say I was slagging off my brother, right? I'll be like, oh, that James. He thinks his, I don't know. Um, <laughs> how can I slag him off? He, he, I don't know. In, basically talking crap about someone is slagging him off. I can't think of anything, anything to say. Isn't slag, uh, I have, I live in the US and a guy called me slag on Facebook. I've never been called that in my life before. It must've been an English guy. Men can be slags too, absolutely. We've got, got a coin. I want clothes. <laughs> I love how you can't even say anything about him. <laughs> I could, but I was just trying to think of a good example. <laughs> Let's go and sell some stuff to Goofy. Yes, yeah, slag was used as a verb in the Green Day song. Oh. And what's a verb, Ella? <laughs> so bad with grammar. I'm a mank from Manchester, so my mank accent, um, that sounds normal to me, but literally anyone else, it sounds proper odd. I love a Manchester accent. Everything sounds... And you know what? Words like slag sound more powerful in a Manchester accent. 
It has meaning. Oh, I never get rich soil. I'll keep that. I usually just get clumps of crap. Goofy, there he is. <laughs> He's a cute guy. He means no harm, really. My uh, that brother of mine has always says something. Oh my god, I keep losing the comments. I'm so sorry. Wally is a good British one. Yeah, you Wally. Good boy. Wally is like you, silly person, you idiot. <laughs> That's because Mank shout everything we say. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I feel the same way about my Quebec accent. Being angry with our curse words feels so much better than. Oh, I love that accent from Quebec. Always, always. I was gonna say thank you so much for following. I appreciate it. Sorry, I'm so terrible at reading out screen names. We really do shout everything. But you know what? That's, I feel like that's a northern and southern thing. You know us in the south, we're such prudes. If somebody like, you know, just speaks loudly in the south, we're like, oh, ghastly. Wellies are rain boots, right? Yeah, a welly is like a rain boot. A wally is um, like someone's silly or say some, it can be used like endearing as well. Like if somebody does something stupid, you can be like, oh, you wally. But you know, in the UK as well, we don't, we don't have where's Waldo, we have where's wally. <laughs> we don't mind what you do. <laughs> exactly. Tan chino shorts. Oh, can we sell those? <laughs> Just during the stream, I have been grinding for that 200 clay and 100 hardwood. Oh my gosh, yeah. You know what? So in my other game on my Switch, I've been trying to build that Mickey Tower. You know, like the one they used to have in Hollywood Studios or MGM Studios. Um, but all the quests needed, all the stuff that I've been like saving and collecting. So it's been really irritating. I'm from the East Coast. Uh, oh. I love when people get called spoons for being stupid, yeah. I'm from the East Coast in the US and my accent gets stronger when I'm upset mad. I think a lot of accents are like that. Yeah, I think so. Waldo Wally is, is named Charlie in French. No way. I wonder why they change it. My mum always says, oh, you Wally, exactly. We use all the cutlery as a mild insult. <laughs> we do, we do. Hell? Uh, we love a good cutlery and so. <laughs> I think that's a universal thing. When I'm really mad, I go full Quebec accent and French words. It depends what kind of mad I am. My parents' accents are two very different English accents, so. Oh, yeah, let's get rid of some carrots. They sell for quite a bit of money. <gasps> so we going to go and buy that lamp from Goofy, um, Goofy from, um... Scrooge's shop. I'm from Sussex, but live in Oxfordshire. My accent gets stronger when I drink. <laughs> I usually don't have an accent, but when I get excited or mad, it comes out more. Or when I'm around my mum, because she has a really thick accent. <laughs> my guy tells me all the time, the further south you get, the prettier the accent. Within three min minutes of a twin video, he was like, they have to be from somewhere south of London. Yeah, we are. We're from the south, um, below London. <laughs> so my mum is from, well, she's from Mexico, but she grew up in the UK. So she has a very below London, very Surrey proper accent. And my dad is from London. So he has a London accent, a South London accent. When I'm really mad, I just tend to use uh, more curse words. People say that we don't have an accent here in Buffalo. Where's Buffalo? I lived in Wales, um, South Wales for eight years. And now sometimes it comes out my accent, even though I sound posh most of the time. I love the Welsh accent. Love me a northern accent. I love northern accents. Oh yeah, two drinks and I am, and my Alabama, Alabama country takes off. <laughs> Listen, I really want this lamp. What does everyone think? It's only 2,720 Disney bits. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I'm from Bristol. I'm not sure most people call that pretty. Bristolian's nice. Bristol is very um, similar to Northeast, Southwest, Southwest, country near Portsmouth. They sound very similar. Get the lamp. Yeah, you're right. You only live once in a game. 
No, that's, that's actually not true at all. Buy it, get a lamp, I'm doing it. We're just south of Niagara Falls, New York, western of New York State. Oh, amazing. I love a New York accent. Now. I think it's so on. nice. Even when people are shouting in it, even when they're like, ang usually angry. Thank you so much, Reese. Thank you for so much following. Oh my god, my voice. <laughs> love a Brummy accent, yeah. Peaky Blinders. Oh, is that what? Is that the accent in it? I didn't even know where it was. We don't have the NYC accent here. Oh, I bet it's still nice though. You're in Portsmouth. Okay, so um, Ali, um, some people in Portsmouth, Portsmouth, Southampton area, they have the kind of Bristolian Cornish twang sometimes, right? Thanks for saying that. <laughs> I'm going to Niagara Falls in a, in Ontario this weekend. I've never been. It's my first road trip by myself. Have the best time. Be safe though. Lock your doors. I would love to go see Niagara Falls. There's something about it that she keeps butterflying everywhere. There's something about it that's very um overwhelming because it's so huge, you know? I'm originally from Massachusetts and now I live in upstate New York and my husband laughs at my accent, especially when I'm mad. We tend to replace R at the at with A at the end of a word like cars, care. <laughs> No one can ever understand my Northern Irish accent. Northern Irish accents are so beautiful. They're so friendly and they're so soft. And I just instantly listen to people and think they're just really smart. <laughs> we have a little bit of West Country mixed with a bit of a more ge general South London accent. Yeah, I really don't have it though. You know what? The A lot of people have that London accent, which I didn't realise is called an estuary accent everywhere else in the UK. So, like, that's why a lot of people sound like they're from London when they're not, you know? Robert, I've never heard someone say Northern Irish accent is beautiful. Thank you so much. Are you kidding me, Melissa? Are you actually, are you actually joking? That's like a thing, is it not? Is that not a thing? Everyone I know, everyone, well, where I am anyway, loves Northern Irish accents. I thought that was just a thing, like how much we love the Australian accent. I thought that was just a thing. And like for deep Southern American accents. But in the West Country here in Portsmouth, accent is an Eastern accent, more like yours, Robert, Northeast. Yeah. So I have, I know, obviously I know people in the Portsmouth, Southampton area. And sometimes there, there's a, it sounds a little bit Bristolian, certain words. No? It sounds, we get, it gets a bit West Country. I had a good friend in high school from Northern Ireland. Her accent was amazing, absolutely incredible. So when I worked in Disney in the UK pavilion in Epcot, we would also work, it was like the UK, so there'll be Northern Irish people who worked there. But one girl was actually from the Republic of Ireland, could not understand a word she was saying. The, the accent was very like mel melody-like, it was beautiful, but I could not stand a word. Stand a word, understand a word. I'm so bad with some accents though. I can definitely say my Midwestern accent is not beautiful. I There's a lot of American accents I really, really like. When they sound like, um, Southern, really Southern is something really comforting about a Southern Ow. accent in America. Um, and then I like, what's that accent where O's are quite pronounced in, in, the, in the States? I really like it. It's just from the other studio. <laughs> My family is a Wiltshire and Somerset, so proper West Country. My brother says he is from Wilkshire, Wilkshire. Oh, like how Americans put, would pronounce it, like Shire at the end. I hate on TikTok when people, I think English people all say water for water. Yeah, like they all think we have a Cockney accent. Yeah, that, that's a thing. I hear some people on, um, you know what, ever since, you know that haunting on Hill House, right? What was the second one where that woman had the, the fake English accent? And she kind of mixed a Northern accent with a Southern accent. And now I hear a lot of American people replicating that accent. But they, they're doing like the, the glottal stop, which is like water. Minnes Minnesotian, that's it. The accent I like. Um, 
they, they're mixing that with somebody who's like posh and posh people don't do that. <laughs> um, or, and it, they're mixing Southern and Northern accent. Bly Manor, that's it, thank you. And the two just don't really, it, it's, it's a strange accent she had in that show. I'm from, whoops. Let's, uh, actually no, we'll sell those, we'll eat some of these things. Uh, I had, personally, uh, I had someone from the South point out that in the Midwest, when someone asks us for something, we always say absolutely, and now I can't hear it. You know what I found really strange, right? When I started working in the US is, so you know when you're like, you're working retail and you, um, you're like, oh, you know, hi. <laughs> and they do all the thing, you're like, thank you so much. And they're like, you're welcome. A really common reply I was getting from, thank you so much for following. Ah, Frey, <laughs> thank you. I'm terrible at pronouncing the screeners. One thing I really noticed was I'd be like, thank you so much. And they'll be like, yep. And I was like, oh my God, that is so rude. That's so dismissive. But I just, I just like worked out that it was just like a normal response or they wouldn't say anything. They'll just go, mm-hmm. And it's like, oh my God, that's so rude. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh my God, what did I, what did I do to make them so angry? But it was just, it was just normal. I didn't realize. <laughs> People think we also speak like we are all from Bridgerton or Downton Abbey. Yeah, that's very south, isn't it? <laughs> but then it's like when people do an American accent every in the UK, everyone instantly puts on, thank you so much for following, quesadilla. Oh God, oh, I really want that now. Um, when English people do an American accent, we do California or we do something like that, right? When people say thank you, I always say no problem. Yeah, it's really strange. I laugh so hard when you mocked Harry Potter accents with um, James. There's something about the accents in Harry Potter when, because I mean, they're not the best at acting when it first came out, right? It was pretty shit. <laughs> and the, the way, <laughs> but you know, when we mocked those accents, we were kind of mocking Americans doing that English accent because it's so stereotypical that it was unreal, it wasn't real, you know what I mean? It, it wasn't correct. When people say thank you to me, I say thank you to them. Thank you, thank you, yeah, oh my God. I'm the kind of person where like, somebody like, have a good flight, and I'll be like, you too. You know, that embarrassing you too, that doesn't make sense. Uh, they were children, cut them some slack. No, you know what, you're right. And you know what? They've done very well with themselves. <laughs> you're so true, you're so true, you're so right. Every time I hear non-American fake and American accent, it's Southern. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Can we hear American accent? Absolutely you not. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass myself in front of American people. I can do an American doing an English accent. I do that too, saying yep or, or mm -hmm. responses. Ah, where's it gone? Um, to thanks, I think it's like, I didn't actually do any, oh my God, I'm reading two more comments at once. Yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think it's at first because I'm, I'm so used to, you know, we're used to how our country talks, the conversation set up, you know? So it was, it was, it was strange. And, and you know what also I, I figured out is that a lot of people in the, in the US, when they said two, they did this. Now in the UK, that's like a middle finger also, right? Or is, is that not a thing? Robert, will you be playing Hogwarts Legacy on Twitch just out of interest? I try to avoid. avoid. No, I don't. And I, I've, I'm i not a Harry Potter fan anyway. I didn't like it when it came out. I didn't, um, I, I, I found it a struggle because of all the made up words and all the made up names. Um, and with my dyslexia, I, I barely take in names as it is. So with all the made up places and made up words, it really wasn't, yeah, it's, that's flipping someone off, right? It's not nice. Um, it, I found it a struggle. So no, and I, I'm not really into Harry Potter anyway. Um, wait, I swear it was saying my thing's full and I, it's absolutely not. Okay, cool. Uh, I didn't get a notification. Oh my God, I've been streaming for one hour, 24 minutes. Quite a bit, but it'll be in playback. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you missed it. 
Cool. And in the US, we'll often use a D sound instead of T if it's in the middle of a word. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you for answering. Yay, big love for you. Thank you. My pleasure. No worries. Why can't I pick these up? Oh, because it's A and I'm pressing the wrong thing. Mm. No, you're good. Don't worry. There's other times. <laughs> All right, let's go and speak to Merlin. Let's try and get some more. Actually, you know what? We can open another place, I wow. think. I wish all my friends could see this place. Because we still have like a thousand. Should we do down here or should we? Yeah, I do like down here because it's like swampy stuff. Or a really stereotypical Cajun accent. Can people do Cajun accents? That's such oh, a unique hello. accent. Oh, that costs too much. Sorry, Merlin. Sorry to waste your time. Any Twitch has been kind of late with notifications on mobile. Oh, that's a shame. That's annoying. You know what? You made it eventually, and that's all that matters. That you are here. <laughs> I feel it's always California, Southern, or New York accent. Yeah. I would love to... Right, if you could live somewhere and get someone else's accent, where would it be? I would love to get a New York accent. Oh, that's too expensive, Hello. too. <laughs> Sorry, Marlon. Sorry to keep wasting Thank your you. time. You're very kind. <laughs> You're very kind, actually. Uh, can we get into that Toy Story place? How much does that cost? Yours, mine. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You know, I also wish I had that transatlantic accent from the olden days. I love Scottish accents. Yeah, Scottish accents, again, is another one. It's, it just instantly feels, like, friendly. That's Ratatouille, Moana. I love a Scouse accent. Yeah, and everything sounds 10 times funnier, Scouse accent. Thank you so much for following, Jen. 7,000. Okay, so we can't go anywhere. That's fine. <laughs> I like my own accent. I can do Vicky Paula perfectly. <laughs> English or Scottish, yeah. I would love also an Australian accent. I used to work with a girl from Perth, and I loved her accent. Italian, maybe. Yeah, cute. I was going to say, we have a Cajun accent in Quebec. Um, in Half saint pierre um, But not... Oh, I can't read these words. I kind. I'm Welsh. Best, best accent. No, it is. You're right. I love a Welsh accent. Again, so it sounds super friendly. It's like you want to pay attention. Anyone else from Scotland here? I have quite a few people from Scotland usually around, right? Yeah, Australian accent's so, so nice. I love a Robert Welsh accent. Thank you. <laughs> I thought Cajun came from the word Acadine from when they were deported to the US. Oh, I have to look into that. I would, Portuguese, I would absolutely want an Australian accent, especially Felix is from Stray Kids. Oh, the, that's a K-pop group, right? There's a place in Louisiana that is Irish Cajun. Oh my God, the accent. I love a good mix. Lo Merlin, stop running around. You're gonna break something, honest. All right, it says to return to Merlin, so let's do it. Hey, Merlin. This is your dream, you know. Only you can help. Things, well, they always seem to have a bit more magic when you're around, Robert. Oh, you... Complete friendships, everything. Yeah. Bravo, Robert. Continue nurturing your friendships and curiosity. They'll be your greatest strength and you'll need all the help you can get. That sounds like a threat. <laughs> I fear the Dreamlight Valley won't be truly safe until we can find and return all the orbs to their rightful place. Sorry, I had to, had to hydrate. I'm sitting here with my Canadian accent and I don't mean the fun Quebec... Quebecois or the fun East Canadian accents either. Canada's really nice. We have this show on, you know, that Race Around the World TV show? They're doing it now, but just in uh, just in Canada. And the accents are so, so cute. We're counting on you, Robert. No pressure. Your accent's so nice, Robert, especially to a mank where everyone is loud. Oh, thank you. We love a Manchester accent though. The Manchester accent is, is a, a pillar in the, the British community for accents. <laughs> if that was a thing. I gotta have a phone meeting. Oh, Sheila, I'm sorry. Do you have to talk? Or can you just sit and listen? Just popped in to say hi. Thank you, Sid Fisher. Thank you. 
You just came in at the wrong time seeing me trying to fish again. <laughs> Do you speak another language, Robert? I don't. I don't, unfortunately. I wish I did. You know what? You know what? Fishing isn't for me. <laughs> What's Eleanor Neal's accent? I, I don't know who that is. I'm not familiar with him. Someone else could uh, know about right? You need Randrew to teach you. Yeah, Randrew. One day. <laughs> no, he's terrible. Because of a love of manga accent, I get asked to say slang words by Americans on Snapchat. <laughs> I speak free perfectly and I'm very happy I do. That is such a incredible talent to have. I can't bother to go. I was going to say, I can't bother to go all the way back to my house. It's literally over there. Thanks for the lot. Oh, I read it already. Yeah, what languages do you all speak? That would be very interesting. Is anyone here Norwegian? You said your parents have two different accents. Do you think yours is a combo of those or more from where you live? Mine is, I think, a combination of both. Um, there's certain words that feel uncomfortable for me to say. So, like, in my mum's accent, water is water. But water sound is more comfortable for me to say in my, in my dad's accent, if that makes sense. <laughs> or, like, um, better versus better. I, I, when, it, when, it, if I'm speaking more fluidly and I'm not thinking about what I'm saying, I will say better. The water is better here. Whereas if I'm thinking about what I'm saying and talking to maybe a stranger, then I'll be more like, the water is better here. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's so weird. It's just, it's just how it is. And what, one thing about my accent and a lot of people in the South, is we, we uh, which I notice a lot of people comment on a lot on YouTube, is we don't pronounce THs. We, we, it's a v the, they, them, this, that. You know, it, we, we replace it with um, Fs and Vs. Hey, Bemmy, how's it going? So a lot of people are like, Robert, why do you, why do you, why can't you pronounce TH? It's like, I can, but I, it's not natural for me to do so, you know? So well, my brother. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I say better and water and butter. Yeah. <laughs> I never noticed. Yeah. Oh, it's going to irritate you now. <laughs> Late to the party, but I'm here for Dreamlight Valley. Thank you so much. We got shouted at in school for not pronouncing a TH. So yeah, so where I went to school, because it is like, it was, they, they tried to make me pronounce a TH. So I was like, I'm fine. <laughs> Maybe you can explain, but I notice that some people don't say sixth. Why? How do you mean sixth? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. <laughs> it's part of the charm of your accent. I got so, I got a lazy tongue. So if I have a drink, I'll stop making an effort and lisp kicks in. <laughs> TH fronting. I love it. That's exactly it. It's called TH fronting. So natural for me to pronounce the T's and H's. We pronounce the X and six. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so I guess I would say it like sick, like being sick, sixth. Sixth. Oh, I can't, sixth. I can't do that. Sixth. Sixth. <laughs> six. I guess if, if I was THing sick, it's easier, but sixth. Yeah, that's, I never noticed that before. That's really difficult to say. Six, six, six. Oh, it's difficult. How many of you are sitting there saying sick now out loud? <laughs> let's see, how long have I got? About 30 minutes left. So let's let's try and do as much as we can for Merlin. Um, With great power. Didn't we do this already? Robert, some of your villagers are getting worried. You see, our memories are getting clouded. We fear the forgetting may be happening again. Oh, what a big magical mess this all is. It's the doing of some sort of dark entity. It's a... It... Cursor cave? 
Everyone's doing it. Sick, sick. Oh, so it's, it's a dark... Mickey talking. It's a dark entity that causes all these curses. If we're to stop for forgetting from happening again, we must fully understand the situation. The what, the who, and the how. Where do I start, Merlin? Where do I start? I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean to start anything. No, you're good. It's funny. <laughs> that was supposed to be... Oh, the first language is French. Sick never felt natural for me. Yeah, I guess it's it's not in your sick, is it? In French? <laughs> what valley fell into chaos? The sea witch fled to the cave by the sea. Let's go and get Ursula. She must be the one you saw on the north side of the beach. So Investigate the cave and find her. If there's one thing I know about Ursula, is that she always has secrets. She's willing to trade to make a deal. Off with you now. <laughs> lots to do, lots to do. Look at him dismissing me. No, thank you. There it is, Mickey Cloud. It always comes out when it's sunny. Six now looks like it's spelt wrong. It does, it does. Oh, uh, this is my favorite. Yeah, she's a good, she's a good gal. <laughs> really, let's go find her then. I don't like how I'm walking around with a, uh, it's hard to call it a climbing frame, a fishing rod. They're very different, di very different things. One of Ursula's secret, secrets is collabing with Spectrum and Bessemi. <laughs> That's a good collaboration. Good collaborations. Oh, let me just get this bit off. Oh, it's on the way anyway. Six, six, six. It's so unnatural to me, six. Ursula, honey. Hello, dear. And here I thought I knew everyone in a village. Who are you, Angel Fish? Are you the one who trapped me here, leaving me to waste away? Wretched and alone. I'm the, um, let's stand our ground a little bit. First things first, who are you? Like, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm still going. How dare he dismiss you? I know, Merlin. I'm Ursa the Sea Witch, of course. I have been trapped in this cave for so long that no one remembers who I am. Well, as soon as I remedy that, as for you, you must possess great magic if you got through the cave entrance. And if you can get in, that means you can also get out. What do you say, dearie? Will you help your new friend Ursa out of this cave? Hmm. Let's play a hard deal with Ursa. What's in it for me? <laughs> Don't sign any of her contracts. I know. I'm gonna... I, I will, though. <laughs> a creature after my own heart. All right, dearie. If you get me out of here, I'll tell you all I know about the forgetting. That is why you came to find me, isn't it? After all, I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. you got no sleeves, Ursula. Huh. How do I get you out? By breaking the spell on the cave, you <laughs> fool. I should turn. I should turn away and leave right now. She'll enroll you in her unique business as a girl boss. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll be having clumpy mascara before we know it. You see, before the forgetting happened, the pillar of power protected Dazzle Beach from curses and evil magic. Hydration. But soon after the forgetting began, a starfish told me someone has stolen the orb from the pillar and hid it in a cave on the beach. Of course, I was just dying to help the village. So I started to search this cave to try and find it. Thank you so much for following, Linz. Thank you, appreciate it. And what was the reward for my good deed? Imprisoned by this horrid cave. You're telling me you got trapped in this cave trying to help the village. You're lying, I can tell. Think you're rather clever, don't you? Well, perhaps I had my own reasons for seeking the orb of power. I'll never tell. Anyway, the orb isn't here. It must be hidden in another cave on the beach. If you get me out, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the forgetting. Do we have a deal, dearie? Mmm, deal. Mm -hmm. I need something called crystal, called a crystal key to enter the cave where the orb is held. I have it here and even part of it for free. As long as you promise not to forget me while you're off running around. Thank you. Use it correctly and it will ignite the ancient magic hidden beneath Dreamlight Valley. Well, what are you waiting for? Hurry, we can't risk another curse hitting us and trapping you in here too. Not that being stuck with me would be so bad. Now would it, pet? No, not at all. Not at all. I could actually deal. I could deal. You're quickly becoming one of my favorite humans. Now just bring me that orb and your place in my heart will be sealed. Why are you still here? Shoot! So fucking rude. Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> right, what was I gonna do? Oh, look a thing. That's cute. Let's get this. 
I just want to go see if I can make some dream light because at the thing. I fell asleep under a tree. When I woke up, I couldn't move. Purple vines had grown around and over me. Their thorns cut me, but they could not cut me as painfully, painful as loneliness. So I pulled myself free. Loneliness cuts deep. Imagine the songs you could sing being trapped with Ursa. Yeah, can you imagine? But she'll, she'll start stealing all your senses. She'll get your voice. She'll get everything else. Dark. That was dark, right? For a Disney thing. Uh, so would be the kind of person that has too much confidence and makes her uncomfortable. Like she's too outgoing and friendly with you, but you never talked before. Yeah, exactly. Like we're friends, aren't we? We're friends. Who's the ancient ruler? I get the feeling it's me. I feel like that's the thing is like, oh, it's you. Make. Um, can we make more? What's this, what's this training manual? Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I don't know what that is. Okay. <laughs> so how much streamlight have we got now? Can we open anywhere else? Oh, let's get all this too. Oh, not as much as, I, I swear we just like made a whole load of streamlight. Um, other meeting over, what did I miss? We met Ursula, she was an asshole, but at the same time you have to respect her. Um, what else did you miss? Not much really. That would be very Disney of him to be, for you to be the chosen one. It would be, right? Oh, look at all this dream light I haven't been collecting. Let's go and open some places. We'll deal with Ursa next week. Let's go and open up some places. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you for the stream, Robert. I'll see you soon. So how much dream light is it going to cost to... Wait, do we open up a new... You know what? I think I'm going to save it for... Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to save it for maybe the Toy Story room because I haven't opened it yet and I've been wanting to ever since the update. Training manual is to redo one of the other characters to redo. Oh, okay, cool. Hey there, pal. It's Dreamlight money. Yeah, pretty much, right? Let's sell some How's it going? I was quick too soon. How often do you stream, Robert? Loving the cozy vibes as I work. Thank you. So every Wednesday, I stream Dreamlight Valley. Thursday and Friday, I stream The Sims. And it's the same, same time every day. Well, Monday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Did I, did I say Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Or did I say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? It's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I miss the rest of the accent discussion. So sad, my favorite subject. Ah. Oh. Sheila, do you always, do you watch the accent people on YouTube? I always watch them like do accents and explain accents. It's great. Let's sell these bananas because we can just pick them up wherever. Sell these, sell this. Mm. Let's go and plant some corn. Goodbye. I've never heard of that. Yeah, so people like, there's loads of channels and it, it's like, I guess they're called ling linguists? Or is that pasta? One of the two. But we always talk about like different accents and how accents came to be. <gasps> Mini ghost. Terrifying. Thank you so much for following. Drina and Barrett, thank you. Someone get some water on that. These will be all dead by the time we come back. Let's get it. It's linguist. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, linguist. That's one. Corn, go crazy. <laughs> right, let's sell all that corn immediately. Oh, Wally, what's up, my baby? Oh, then your eyes are looking the other way. I thought you sad, had sad eyes. I've been lurking while doing my workout and I kept saying sick. <laughs> it's still, I still can't do it. Hi, Class Hippie, how are you? Sid Vicious, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it for two months, thank you. 
By the way, if I ever say thank you to subscribe to for subscribing to someone and you've been subscribed already, I don't know what my alerts are doing. They just love to tell me someone's just subscribed and they haven't or they did already. I found British spelling really weird because S in French is said when it's when it's between vowels and S when it's second. Oh, also the O like color. I read color, like the ooh in zoo. Oh, color. Oh, okay. Because in French, ooh does ooh. Ah, I see what you're saying. See, this is why I find it really difficult to learn other languages because the the pronunciations and things like that. Doing good just on my way back to work. I'm doing good. Thank you. I'm sitting here at my work, work desk muttering sixth as I work as well. Sixth. Sixth. Mm -hmm. What was that? 91 Dreamlight Valleys. Okay, let's have a little finish up. How? Mm. Oh, this, actually, let's have a little look. Just, wait, where's? Oh, no, did that event? Oh, it's because I'm not online, isn't it? Let's just have a little clean up, a little poke around, and we'll continue Ursa's quest next week. And hopefully open up Toy Story Land <laughs> World, whatever it's called. Still no internet. I don't understand how it's like you're not connected. Yeah, I'm streaming. I live on 8th Street. You wouldn't believe how much trouble I get trying to make people understand I meant 8th Street. What do I think you're saying? 8 as in eating something. <laughs> I live on 8th. 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 <laughs> How, how much Dreamlight is it to open this area? Oh, 7,000. No, I'm good, Merlin, for a bit. Well, they're running along now. Yes, thank you. Oh, should we upgrade my house? How much is that going to cost us? Oh, greetings, you know, if you improve your house, you'll have more storage and um, space and more rooms. And all the extra elbow room means more places for rest and relaxation. Oh, oh my God. Bargain. Absolutely. I think I say sick. Yeah, same dread balloon. Same. Wish me luck tomorrow on Friday, taking my daughter to visit college. She'll be going to for the next four years, and it's 3.5 hours away from me. Oh. Oh, she's gonna have a best time. You'll just have to make sure you visit a lot. Are you Welsh? I am. I'm not Welsh. My last name is literally Welsh, Robert Welsh. <laughs> Let's see if we can... Well, oh, that's 20,000. No, thank you. Not today. Thank Bye -bye. you. It's a little poke around. Oh, my God. I'm still sat here saying sick. <laughs> okay. Should we... Let's have a little... Let's have a little... Let's get changed first. We haven't done, a, like, an outfit today. OOTD, everyone. Let's try those new trousers. We've got... What about these trousers with this top? Let's get rid of that jacket. What jacket am I wearing? Oh, what I miss the Disney music. I don't like the streamer friendly music. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know about this. These gloves. And then Maybe get let's get rid of a backpack. A spare. You and your twin are such good vibes. Like, I would love a night out with you. Thank you so much. Our, our version of a night out, though, would be a night in. <laughs> or a night out where we have, like, our own section so we can talk. You know what I mean? Have you always got on? Yeah, we have. Yeah. We've always, like, lived together, had the same group of friends, you know? That's my kind of night out, exactly. Yeah, a night in a good telly, exactly, yeah. Come over and I'll cook for you both. Oh my God, I love when people cook for me. <laughs> I wanna get rid of this bag. Cute, oh look, we look like we're about to do something with vegetables. You guys need to do a meet up in a bar or something. Yeah, we should. My cousins are twins, but boy and girl, mine aunt. Wait, my, no, my uncle and auntie Albert Boy Girl. Thank you so much for following the lead, the lead, the Vera. 
<laughs> Sorry. I, I need to change that writing so I can read it properly. <laughs> After the um, pan best outfit yet. Yeah, yeah, it's cute, right? It's futury, but it's now. But it's the future. With passports taking 16 weeks over here now, I would never make it. Jeez. I did a class with Katie Jane Hughes on skincare. Oh my God, and she was lovely. I was so conscious about my skin, but she was so nice about it. She is, she's so kind. I've spoken to her a few times in, in messages and she's just so friendly and so down to earth and so talented as well, you know? Very Gen Z with her trousers. Yeah, roll that. Will you review her makeup when it comes out? Wait, she's, she's got her own brand coming out? Absolutely yes, if that's the case. Wait, is that, has she got her own brand? Am I missing some news? Oh, that's really exciting. She did a highlight. Oh, I need to, I need to go and see this immediately. Well, not right now, because this, but as soon as I can, I'm gonna, I will absolutely check it out. Oh, how exciting. Let's set up the TV here. That's really cute. We'll get this, oh, ooh. Cute. Oh my god, can you imagine a house like this? Your friends will think you're weird, but you know you're not. <laughs> Is that too much? Is that too much going on? As soon as you walk into the room. Oh my god, oh that's amazing. Oh, I can't wait. That's so cool. How did you get the TV and sofa? Did you buy a pack? I, I didn't this time. I did on my original one. I think... Did I just unlock it? I have no idea, to be honest with you. I, I, I didn't knowingly buy a pack. Maybe I did. But I feel like I got some furniture in things. Does anyone know how I got it? <laughs> Love suit should maybe be against the wall. Yeah, I think you're right. Like, like here. Oh, God. I hate out. Oh, no. That, that lines up a little bit, right? Cute. That fireplace sounds really beautiful. We'll get rid of that dusky old chair. Um, have we got like rugs or anything? Ooh, let's change up. No, rugs. Let's, have we got any? Oh, I don't like any of them. That's fine, that's kind of muted. I got that, but I don't have that furniture. Hmm, I believe it's even so far getting from the ultimate founders pack. Envon, thank you so much for following. Thank you. Let's put this in the middle here. We'll get rid of this chandelier, as nice as it is. Is the game free? Is that why there are in-game purchases? Is it free? I think it's going free at some time. <laughs> but, um... I know I paid for it originally, my one, on my um, Switch, and I paid for this too. Oh, I have a kitchen thing. Okay, we'll have to figure this out. I need a bigger room. Um, I have furniture FOMO. I know this is why I love these kind of games, because it's like I would genuinely own all this stuff if they were real in real life. Look, this is that thing that I bought that I thought was the actual dress, and it wasn't. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. Look how cute this trolley is. It's got Miss Potts on it. So cute. You can expand and create more rooms. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I have to get 20,000 simoleons. <laughs> Are you excited to see Barbie? You know what? Kind of, I love a good cheesy film. So I kind of am, but at the same time, kind of not. I don't I don't like the casting of Ryan Reynolds. He looks really strange as Ken. <laughs> Um, yeah. It's like a wish. Ryan Gosling, thank you, sorry. Too many Ryans. I'm trying to think what else I can add in here. Let's take a little look. I need to build like a kitchen area, but now I feel like this sofa needs to be closer to this because I need more room. Uh... Um... Oh, I don't know. Oh, now I've ruined it. Um, <laughs> Bobby looks silly until you see Ryan Gosling. They should have cast Ryan Reynolds. They should have included the discontinued dolls. Oh, how cute would that be? 
Hmm. You know what? I'm going to save the kitchen stuff until we have a separate room. But I'll keep that now for when I need to do all my cooking things. But it looks better than I thought it would. Yeah. I don't get... I don't get the... Um, the premise of a movie. Oh, yes. I can add rooms. Let's try to see if I can add one and how much it will cost. Expand house. Wait, can I just do it? Hmm. Let's let's call it kitchen. Kit <laughs> kitchen. Thank you for letting me know that. Furniture, if you did pay for it, was like the special levels or other basic levels, but you also got moonstones and other stuff for that value you paid for, but the rest of the furniture and clothes you purchased in a shop with the coins you earn in the game. Yes. Love a Truman Show. That's such a good film. I saw the trailer and it looks cheap. I think it, because, I mean, it's meant to look like if Barbie was a real world and sometimes that can look a bit cheap if Barbie was a real world. So I like the way, I kind of like the way they've done that. Um, like the sea, if you notice little details in the trailer, the sea isn't moving. The sand looks really terrible. They're not quite sitting on the surfaces right, you know? So it does look very play-like. But I, yeah, I kind of want to know what the premise of the movie is because it'll kind of be interesting to see what they do, you know? Or what's going to happen. Like, does she go into the real world? Is it like the, you know, that movie Tyra Banks was in that was actually really good and people don't give it enough credit. <laughs> was it called Life Size or something like that? Yeah, I think it is on purpose. Oh, let's put in this lamp we got earlier. That was terrible there. <laughs> But no, it, I mean, I wouldn't go and see it, but I will watch it. You know, it's that kind of thing. Life Size, that was such a good film. They don't make films like that anymore. <laughs> There's nothing moving. Okay. I feel like that, oh, that's more of an office -y thing, isn't it, actually? Do we have a fridge? I guess we don't. I would like a dining table in here, though. So let's, let's put it here. I feel like that's very family friendly, you know? Parent one in the kitchen. Parent two, I guess not in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Am I the only one who doesn't find Ryan Gosling attractive? No, I don't. Perhaps a sink in the kitchen. Yeah, I wish I had a sink. Thank you so much for following. Kelsler. Kelsler? so bad I'm so bad at reading I'm so sorry <laughs> you deserve better than this <laughs> oh look we've got little flyers let's put them here so I pretty much need I think I need hmm I need to keep an eye out let's put this dirty light in here when I'm in Scrooge's place for some more kitcheny bits because this is looking a bit bit bleak ah oh, sink of tiled wall there you go very old-fashioned sink we can move that around as we get more kitchen stuff. Sturdy chair. I wish he's tucked under. They look very messy. Sinks there. Bookshelf, I want to keep in the other room. Hmm. Ooh. No. <laughs> that wasn't what I thought it was. This is very kitcheny. <gasps> Look, oh my god, you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know it's Star Wars themed. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna come to the end of our stream for now. And uh, boop. Ah. Oh god, I feel like I've been. Oh, I feel like my ears need a stretch. Gosh. Why did they make the table an odd amount of squares? Well, oh yeah, that's a good point. The length of the chairs can't be... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so bad at reading today. <laughs> Thank you, Darcy. I'll see you tomorrow. So tomorrow we are doing The Sims. My stream cut out 
because we had like weather warnings and stuff and everything was just cutting out. Internet was cutting out. Our TV was cutting out. So we were in the middle of making Roxy a creeping out the house outfit. Cause she's having an affair. Both the parents are, we know it. They're that kind of couple. Um, yeah, so we'll be with a Trout family tomorrow. I don't think it'll be prom yet. So Wolfgang isn't getting that slap. <laughs> are you planning to stream on Friday since it's Good Friday? Yes. For me, cause I'm self-employed, uh, public holidays don't, um, or bank holidays don't really fit into my schedule. Luckily, I never know when it's happening. So thank you for telling me because I never know it's coming. <laughs> like when I used to work, you know, in retail, things like that, I would know. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much. Everyone enjoy your day, your evening, whatever it is. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for all your follow, subscriptions, everything like that today. I greatly appreciate it. I'm having the best time on, on Twitch. Um, Yes, and plan on continuing to do so. So go ahead and follow me. Oh, I have a TikTok. It's right there. Robert X Welsh. If that doesn't sound right. Um, where I'm going to be posting a little bit more off the clips and everything like that. Um, yeah. So great to see you all. I will see you very soon. Bye. Sick. Sick. Everyone practice sick. Bye.